It's more about the money than the movies. In this week's Movies and Money, Eric Childers, our movie guy, is here to take us behind the scenes. Good morning to you, Eric. Good morning. So let's start with what you're bringing to us today. You're going mm -hmm. to talk about tracking, and this is where film studios actually rely on algorithms to predict how well a movie will do at the box office. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> they have not been doing very well over the last uh, few uh, months and weeks, actually. So is this a good practice or a bad practice? Well, I think it's, a, it's an interesting practice for the studios to sort of have in their back pocket. They basically they use the, this practice, which is pretty much, you know, polling people to see if they're aware of a movie's existence, so they know when it's coming out, is it being t tweeted about on social media and whatnot. And they use that to sort of, you know, garner, you know, exactly how much advertising dollars they want to put into a movie. But when these numbers fail them, then they look like, you know, idiots. Case in point, Sin City. Sin City, which a lot of people were sort of speculating was going to be somewhere upwards around 18, 19 million, and up to six and a half million dollars at the box office. It was huge. You know, a few weeks back, Guardians of the Galaxy, people sort of pegging around 65 million, kind of an average August blockbuster, over 90 million. That's become the biggest movie of the summer. So last week you were on the show and you were talking about Jessica Alba's <laughs> performance in the movie, which you were not a fan of. However, yes. some news came out mm -hmm. that her company, The Honest Company, mm -hmm. has been valued at just under $1 billion. Is it often that you see a celebrity be able to parlay their star power into that kind of an enterprise. This seems to be more the case of her maybe just finding something that works behind the scenes, you know, something that doesn't involve the sort of Hollywood. You know, I don't know if there are, there are a lot of je enough Jessica Alba fans out there to sort of, you know, say, like, ooh, I'm going to trust Jessica Alba they with like my baby's diapers. They like friendly diapers, exactly. That, that, that could just like the product, you know, and I say good for her, you know, maybe she should stick with that and stay away from the acting. Last weekend at the box office, as you just mentioned, Sin City not doing well at all. Look at that list. It's not even Ooh. there. So Guardians of the Galaxy takes the number one spot, followed by Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, If I Stay, Let's Be Cop, and When the Game Stands Tall. Mm -hmm. They're liking that movie. They're doing, it's doing okay. You know, we'll see if it you know, yeah. garners any sort of small word of mouth. It's, you know, they're not exactly very happy with that number. Coming out this weekend, here's the list. As Above, So Below. That's a thriller, correct? That's not screening for critics. That's always a bad sign. Mm -hmm. And the November Man. November Man with uh, Pierce Brosnan. Labor Day is not, you know, typically a very big weekend at the box office. You have a lot of people sort of taking their last vacations for the summer. Kids are back in school now, so, you know, they're not exactly want to go to the movies. And these movies don't exactly inspire a lot of people to run out to the movies, especially if they're not being screened for critics. Uh, so I don't expect big numbers this weekend. You'll probably see Guardians of the Galaxy be number one again. The film studios have already released their summer blockbusters. That's right. They're it's out. over. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. We're out. <laughs>